What's up guys, Andy from Greek's Garage, and in this video, we're gonna be using this headlight restoration kit from Meguiar's. But before we get to the video, I wanna tell you about the new merch store that I just launched. The link is in the description below, so check it out if you wanna help support this channel. So this is the Meguiar's heavy duty headlight restoration kit, which will require some kind of power drill or cordless drill to use. Meguiar's also makes a two-step headlight restoration kit that does not require a power drill. And I'll have links to both of these in the description below on where you can purchase them on Amazon. Now this is what comes in the kit. Now I filmed this after I've used the kit, so if it looks used, this is why. So the kit comes with two sanding pads. One is a thousand grit, and the other one is 3000 grit and they would stick onto this applicator right here. Now here's the buffing pad that you would attach to your cordless drill and here's the plastic polishing compound that you would apply to the buffer. Now after you're done polishing them all out you would apply this headlight sealer and you would apply it with this foam pad right here. This is what the headlights look like before we get started. This is the driver side. And this is the passenger side. We'll be working on the passenger side in this video. So you can either completely remove the headlight and work on it while it's off the car, or you can just do what I'm doing here and tape off around the headlight so you don't scratch up any of the paint while you're wet sanding. Now that we're all done taping up, we can start the first step, which is wet sanding with the 1000 grit sandpaper. So basically you're gonna take your 1000 grit sandpaper disc and stick it on the handle that they provide and it just Velcros right on. Next, you're gonna to wanna to wet your sandpaper down and the headlight and make sure everything's wet while you're sanding. I kept the hose handy and kept rinsing everything down every few minutes as I went along. You just don't want it to dry out while you're sanding. Just make sure you take your time on this first step and sand everything down really well because this is what gets all the oxidation out. After you're done with the first step of sanding, you want to dry it all down to make sure everything got sanded down really well. Now once it's dry, what you're going to want to see is a nice white frosty haze. Now we're on to the next step which is going to be the same process as before but now with a 3000 grit sandpaper.
once you're done sanding, wipe it all down dry again. Now once it's all dry, you're still going to see a frosty haze to it, but that's what you want because the next step is where you polish it all out. Now to the touch, it's going to be really smooth now. Before it was really rough. Now it's time to get the drill gun and polish it all out. Here's where you get your Meguiar's Plastex cleaner and polish out and apply it to your pad. You want to make sure you wipe it down every so often so you don't gum up or burn out your headlight with the drill. And just repeat the process until you're satisfied. Now the last step is to put this headlight sealer on to protect your headlights and we'll be applying it with a sponge. But before we do that you want to clean your headlight lens with your favorite glass cleaner. Now we're just going to soak up the sponge with the sealant. Maybe a little much, but it won't hurt. Now we're going to start on the top on one side and work our way to the other side, overlapping about 50% on each pass until you make it to the bottom. And there we go, all done. I mean, wow, what a difference. I mean, to go from this to this, I mean, come on, that looks amazing. So this is my wife's grandmother's car, and her mechanic actually told her that she needed to buy brand new headlights. So this is a great way for you to save a ton of money without going out and spending hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars on new headlights. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can purchase this kit on Amazon. I also want to mention that my nephew just recently launched his new YouTube channel called Animal Tony. I appreciate it if you go over there and subscribe to him and support his channel. I'm telling you, this guy's going to be the next Coyote Peterson. Again, thanks for watching, and I'm going to let my daughter's 8th grade class take us out on this one.